Eschatology, a study of things to come. The book of the prophets, such as Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, and so forth, testify to a witness, which is a prophetic of Jesus Christ and his return. Let's get this straight. Nobody knows when Jesus will come back with the Father's glory. Jesus warns us many times in the Bible to not listen to the people who tell you that the Son of Man is over here, or over there. He says that the kingdom of God will not come in a way that you can see it with your human eyes. He also does give us warnings of what it does look like, such as the fig tree. Pay attention to the fig tree. You see when it's harvesting and you see when it's fleeting or fading away. He says those are the signs. There will be outbreaks of war. There will be false prophets. Um, people will no longer obey sound doctrine. They'll go about listening to whatever their itchy ears or their sins cause them to. Man's strength will start to fail him and people will no longer have love for one another. He also goes on to explain that people will start to have a marking of the beast on their hands and their forehead in order to purchase items and those without won't be able to purchase anything. And there will be great scarcity in our world, not just food. He also talks about people's faith will start to fail them. People will leave Christianity because of the trials and tribulations they'll start to face. And they'll have to denounce Jesus as being Lord and Savior. He goes on to say that the stars of heaven will fall. He says that there are two great witnesses. Not two people, but two great witnesses. We believe that it's the Jewish testimony, of the Jews who testify that Jesus is Lord and Messiah, and the Gentiles as well. He says there are seven churches, Laodicea, and so on and so forth. He says the spirit of the Antichrist will arise. People claiming, people will claim that they are God. He also testifies that the dead will rise, Christ will come back the way he left in clouds of glory, and he will come black, he will come back already bloody, not of anyone else's blood, but of his own blood, as a testimony to God, to all the nations, and he will judge the nations, he will judge Babylon by the sword of his mouth. He will give time, time will be given for people to repent. And believe and some people will not repent and believe even when they I guess see him seals would be opened from a scroll trumpets will be blown the wrath of God and bowls will be poured out believers will be caught up there will be horses and its riders of death a pale horse a black horse a red horse there'll be angels all over the place there will be beasts coming out of the ground and those who have died for the testimony of Jesus who've been martyred will rise from the dead and believers and those who will reign with Christ for a thousand years in this time we don't know if it's going to take place in a day an hour or a lifetime all we know is this that God will finally put an end to sin and it's in the in the one who controls this world that is what's going to happen